Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for June 10th of 2023, well, it is titled Mars and the Beehive. So what do we see here? Well, the bright object off to the left is actually the planet Mars, the bright red planet. And one of those that we can see now in the evening sky after sunset, the more prominent object would be Venus. So if you look to the west after sunset, you will see Venus not pictured here. And that will be the very brightest object that you see. But also present there another relatively bright object in the sky will be Mars. Now here we see it near what is known as the beehive cluster. Now that's in the constellation known as Cancer. And it is a, a prominent open cluster also known by the catalog desi designation of M44. So we can see those stars here. It's actually a relatively nearby open cluster and stars, all very young stars and relatively close to us, only a few hundred light years away. Now, by comparison, Mars would be 17 light minutes away. And that's often a way to discuss distances in astronomy is by their light travel times. How long does it take light to travel to them? For, the, for Mars, about 17 minutes, which is about twice as long as it takes light from the sun to reach Earth. Whereas the stars of the Beehive Cluster uh, are much further away, about 600 light years, meaning that we see them not as they are today, but as they were 600 years ago. And the light from them has taken that long to reach us today. Now, as we see that those are actually relatively nearby objects by comparison to many of the more distant stars and galaxies that we sometimes look at. Now, you also notice within the cluster that you can see some differences within the uh, st within the stars and different colors within them. And you see that there are some bluer stars and that there are also some that are more of a yellowish color. Now the different coloring of the stars tells us about the temperatures. A very hot star will appear blue and a much cooler star will appear red. And while we don't see red stars within the cluster prominently here, we do see some that are yellowish stars. So a slightly different color of stars and meaning that we're seeing different temperatures. Now, of course, when we look at Mars, we're not talking about the differences in temperatures. Mars, we're actually talking about the coloration of the planet. So a planet, unlike a star, does not emit its own light but emits reflected light. So we're seeing the light that is reflected by Mars, which is actually sunlight that is being reflected by Mars. And Mars is very good at reflecting the red light, giving it a distinct red glow that we often see. So that was our picture of the day for June 10th of 2023. It was titled Mars and the Beehive. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be the spectrum of the sun. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.